Want to know where to get the best possible cheap, reliable coins at your fingertips? What do you think? Woohoo! Very nice. Look at that. Look no further than MMOEXP. Link is down below. Top of description. Use code META for 5% off. What it do, ladies and gentlemen? We are back, man. Your boy is back. He's got a fresh cut. We are moving absolutely nicely. How are we doing, man? Are you guys still playing the game? What game are you playing right now? I'll be honest. I haven't played this game in about three weeks, bro. Straight up. So, yeah. Uh, apologies right there if maybe I get one or two plays wrong. But I'll be honest. I played about two or three days back. Obviously, it's been three weeks before that, though. And I'll be honest, there's so much cards, bro. Everyone is insane. And that's why you see S++. I know it's, it looks weird. It looks weird, bro. I know. But there is S++ for a reason because it just differentiates just a little bit, you know, more meta cards. Um, the cards that are the best in the game, essentially, like Hansen, like Eusebio. So great. I placed him twice, bro. Beautiful stuff. We'll place him at the end there. Apologies for that. By the way, check out MMOXP. Use the code META for the best cheapest coins. Now, we are going to jump into some other cards before we just, you know, get rid of the conventional meta cards that everybody knows is great. And if you don't think that someone like a Ham or Pele is S++, then you're just doing it wrong, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, I swear, if you guys say, no, I just don't like her, the way she turns, you know, she has the 98 agility, not 99, or I swear, bro. I'm going to remove your comments, and I, I might just block you, bro. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, let's move over to someone like Alvarez. I mean, he's just been very, very relevant from his uh, evolution times. I remember how much people enjoyed his card. So I can only imagine the 99 being absolutely insane, man. He's got 1.4 million coins on his uh, price tag, right? There. He's got 87 defensive awareness. So this guy can practically play everywhere. You can place him as RCM, LCM. You guys already know the deal, man. That is an S plus card. Might even be better than some other cards. Because the only thing that was lacking for him was the skill moves. So now that he has that and yeah, Futpin's updated their page. What does he have? He has, he has four playstyle pluses. Um, press proven is amazing. Power shot, first touch. If he had finesse shot, maybe it would have been a little bit better, more clinical. Who cares, bro? It's still a 99 rated card. He can l practically do everything. So why why care? Same thing with Eto, amazing. I think Ham deserves to go maybe one up. Same thing with Eusebio. I think that is perfect Pele as well. Because it's Pele, we'll place him around that level. Doesn't really matter. Now, yeah, let us get rid of some cards that I just don't think is as meta. Still decent, can be utilized Okay, Abili. We got the likes of um, Donovan. We got the likes of Paulie Future. You know, these cards are good, yes. They're S for a reason. S is still good. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's below that. That's not as great. But yeah, Patrick Vera. I'll place him at S plus for now. Definitely not S plus plus. Sounds so funny to say that. But yeah, doesn't have the five star like skill moves. Um, you can actually make a skill. I think you can make a five star, five star uh, Vera. Now, now I'm putting you onto game, bro. You know what I mean? That's subscribe, bro. We nearly had 40k, by the way. Appreciate you boys all for the support, man. Especially this year. Even, like, ending off this um, FC24, it's been amazing, bro. So, yeah. Uh, appreciate all the support, by the way. But, yeah. Uh, Viera, you can actually not Evo him anymore, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, it doesn't really show uh, some evolutions that you can get. Wait, can you get through the 93, maybe? Yes, you can. So, if you get through the 93, let's see here. Uh, uh, you can get to the Legends Unleashed if it's still available at ease. And you can get him to a 5 star 5 star. And I'll be honest, that for me is a little bit more practical and a much better like movement character player. Uh, especially from a midfield perspective. Maybe get upper S++. Oh, sorry, lower S++. But yeah, Bajo is good. A lot of people said he turns amazing. But is Bajo on the level of like Ham? Let's be honest, bro. Be honest to yourself. I know he's good in terms of turning. He's not as meta as Ham, Eusebio, Pele. And I don't care what el anyone else says, bro. Personally speaking, he's not on that level. Got KO as well. Um, didn't he score like the quickest goal in the World Cup? If I'm not mistaken, right? 5-star, five 5-star. Five Cahill always just had an insane statted card. But does he play according to his stats? I'll be honest, he never does, bro. Power shot, power header. Anticipate plus for a striker. That is devious business, bro. <laughs> you can... <laughs> bro can play... He can play as a center back at 92 rated, bro. Do you know... <laughs> what are we doing in... Please, yeah. Next, FIFA, please. FC25. Let's not add so much of these cards, man. It ruins the game, bro. 
it ruins the game, man. Like, that's just too much now, bro. But yeah, nonetheless, though, I do think it's a very, very nice, solid, solid um, striker for now. I'm going to rate him at, uh, I'd say, upper S+. Plus. Still very, very decent. Same thing with Cole. Decent enough card. You can actually say Donovan and Cole is similar cards. Um, so I'll put Cole at the lower plus. I do think Donovan moves a little bit better. I've versed him a couple of times. Nothing crazy. Yeah, S+, plus, bro. Do you know what I mean? At this stage of the game, if you guys are really rel relying on what I'm saying then ggs bro but I, I would just say look at the top page for the best of the best because i always feel like I, I i do well in that regard you know stating which is like the top of the line players these are the cards there's much better same thing with butcher Gueno. i didn't even see his card i forgot about him uh and cruyff i definitely do still think he's s plus uh plus ginola very nice card could be possibly the better card out of all of them because of the, his um, physicality, that is. We got Alarm as well, S++ for sure. In terms of the way he turns, uh, let's first look at Calafiore. Let's go in order. Um, what I like about him, he kind of reminds me of like a Cap de Via. Um, you know, someone that's a little bit more lanky, a little bit more taller. Like I have it, it's a left back type of player. He could potentially be one of the best left backs if you actually look at it. So let's go left backs and see what he up against. Uh, we'll go left back, left wing back, select and search. Let us see. So Karchawi. Um, I do think she moves a little bit quicker, you know, in the dying moments, she will turn a little bit better, better agility. Do think Califiori still has the agility and the physicality, so he's kind of like a Theo Hernandez, you could say, bro. And at 250k, is he better than Theo Hernandez? I don't know. I would probably say Theo Hernandez is better attackingly, um, but it's still good. At this rate, bro, that's a very nice left back. I'm going to place him around S++. Hopefully he does well for Arsenal, you know. They have been, they have been, you know... People have been making a lot of aura compilations about that man. But yeah, Rivaldo, I do think he's still S++, even with the amount of new cards added. Because he got introduced a couple of a couple of months back, I can't lie. Uh, I still do think he's great because of the 5-star, five 5-star. Five star. And the way he turns in-game with the press proven, I do think he's lower S++ for sure. Technical as well. It's a decent card, bro. But yeah, we won't be here too long, man. We've got Crouch. I don't think he's as great. Still a very nice clinical striker. I'd say around even just S plus level. Like even around that level is okay. Dilecht, new card that came out. Obviously have not used the verse team. Literally came out today. We are judging him according to his PTG. And this card was amazing. Um, I kind of doubted him in the start. Used him a couple of games. Didn't like him. But added a different chem style. And he cooked bro. Six foot two as well. Um, I think this is one of the best center backs in the game. Yeah. Could pot possibly be the best center back. Uh, but there is still Van Dyke, so yeah. Block plus quick step. Quick step for center back is brazy. Now, man can do a couple of, you know, a couple of transitional uh, runs right there. So yeah, I do think the left will be around, as a center back, probably even upper S++, bro. Definitely an insane card. We got a Fodderingham, aka Fodderingham. Yeah, I've made that joke already. It didn't bang. Why am I still making that joke? Where's Fodderingham right there? Fair enough to this guy. 20,000 coins, right? Six foot one. Not the best reactions and not the tallest I'm, I'm okay with placing him around s plus though do you know what i mean at this rate it's okay um could even place crouch uh, around that level is decent yeah we, we, we're cooking bro clusterman um by the way man i'm gonna try and improve my content for next fifa um i got a guy actually um i'm gonna try and do player reviews bro i want to try and get the best player reviews out asap so that you guys can obviously see whether they be expensive medium range it doesn't matter i'm gonna try and do play reviews because i like actually reviewing players you know not just stating like oh this guy is good because of stats do you know what i mean so yeah block intercept relentless very very good center back some would say he's kind of like on the lift's level what is his what is the lift's pace and stuff 96 this one's 94 nah he's not on the next level i would say he is around s plus upper s plus for show but yeah let us see mariano she came out very recently i think she came out yesterday actually um nothing crazy man 61k five star skills ggs i mean it's just all green stats does she live up to the hype tell me in the comments at this rate though i'm okay with placing around s plus inaki williams he's not on s plus plus level ricardo cavallo good center back i'd say around s plus um i'll be honest yaya tori will get upper s plus i don't think yaya tori is s plus plus bro there's something about him that yes he's good in terms of like intercepting and stuff but he's not on the level of like a Lam 99 he has everything do you know what i mean i can't place Lam and yaya Tori in the same category i'm sorry even with the yaya Tori's physicality stats it's good yes but he's not on Lam's level bro Lam is a pest he's so irritating kaka i'd say upper s plus uh Erdogan is nice 
he's just always had a very nice transitional card um, and he could play anywhere in midfield that's what i liked about him lcm rcm uh, cm cam lamb ram uh, obviously not striker but i do think this card can even play striker the way he turns you know playstyle pluses are pinged tiki taka technical i like that add him as a 4-2-3-1 as a cam he's going to be one of the better cams in the game especially the way he turns and he can still defend so it's not bad bobby moore i'd say around i'd say around s plus i'd say top s plus i wouldn't put him in the same category as the main man delicht but i would say very very good center back don't get me wrong it's just the Licht has like qualities to be end game bro even in september <laughs> we almost in september by the way yeah raul 98 he also has amazing stats at card but never lived up to his stats sometimes something about it five star five star he also had amazing amazing dribbling stats does he have press proven he does not finesse shot is nice technical tiki taka i don't really care about the chip shot but i'll be honest at this stage of the game it's okay nothing crazy man i'm a, i'm gonna rate him around s plus you could even argue a lower s plus though because it's kind of similar to like the likes of a sorry lower s plus plus it's kind of similar to like a eto type of player so for that reason you could even place him around that yeah i think that's perfect for now we got a Schweinsteiger. A lot of people has enjoyed this card. Um, I see it always in my comments. You know those guys that like, like the casuals, you know? If you say he's S++, then there's something wrong with you in your head, bro. Or it's either that this card is performing amazingly for you. But yeah, I'll be honest, very, very nice CM. But I do think he's around this level, man. Um, you could argue Yaya Torre can get the upper S++ slots. But yeah, if you don't know how his tier list works, obviously upper S++ is closer to lower S++. Maldini, very good center back. I don't think Maldini is on the level of these other cards. Unfortunately, just sometimes he turns a bit too slow. And he is slow in general. It's just the way he plays in game. I've had his card multiple times, especially that version. Yeah. 96 Van Percy is okay at S+. I'm okay with that, ladies and gentlemen. Do you guys agree with this? I've been Boy Meta Mike. Hit that like, subscribe. Are you going to get out of these cards? Who is performing amazingly for you? Have I maybe massacred someone? Um, Yeah. I'd say probably Klosterman can go a little bit up, eh? He low-key is actually better than Maldini and more put together. So yeah, Kaka is decent. That was a voice crack as well. Ricardo Cavallo is okay there. Maybe Bajo goes up a bit. Uh, Mariona as well can go up. Inaki Williams up. I'd say like that's perfect. But yeah, tell me if you agree with this tier list. I have him in a way. Meta Mike, I'll catch you boys in the next one. Cheers!